Hi everyone, uh, it's Liz. I am back doing another video. I have probably filmed myself saying that sentence about 10 times now. So that's it, I'm done. I'm keeping this one. Um, it's probably been a good month since I last did a video. Uh, an awful lot feels like it's happened. Yet when I look at uh, what I've actually been working on, I don't know, yeah, not really got not really got loads to show you, but we're going with it anyway. Um, I think the last time I made a video, it was snowing, uh, and I had planned to go to the knitting and stitching show the day after. No, that didn't happen. Um, it absolutely bombed down. So the school was shut, the trains weren't working. So yeah, I had a couple of days in the snow instead, which which was fine. Um, I think I'm just destined not to go to this show. We were going to go in October, and October last year, uh, and decided to put it off until after Christmas because I didn't want to be going and spending loads of money just before Christmas. Then March rolled around, booked and paid for the tickets, and then it snowed. Um, maybe next year, we'll see. Um, the other exciting thing that I'm doing is I am booked onto my first ever stitchy retreat. So excited um i hear so many of you talking about them and you will come back with you know oh, i've made this friend and it's just it's lovely to be given a chance to to physically meet people that enjoy stitching as much as i do so that is in february next year um and it's in southampton so i'm not entirely sure how far away it is from me I'd have to get the train anyway, probably a good couple of hours on the train, um, but it's totally worth it. And it will be over my birthday as well, so that's good. Can you believe that my phone just flashed up full memory? Honestly, after all of that, with trying to get going. <sighs> anyway, my first ever stitching retreat across my birthday. Um, let me celebrate my birthday with loads of new friends. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's happening. Um, I've nearly finished this year of my uni work. I've got two big end of year assignments to do and then I'm done and I'm taking a year off. I am mentally, emotionally, physically drained from the work I had to do this year. It was too much, it was far too much. So I'm just gonna have, it, it works out to about a year and a half. You know, regroup, recharge my batteries, take on year three in a year and a bit. So yeah, that's kind of, that's most of my news really. Um, also, Jennifer, if you are watching this, I am sorry that it has taken me so long to write back to you. It's actually, it's, it's borderline embarrassing how long it took me to write back to you. But I posted your letter yesterday. Yay, I actually sent it. Honestly, I took it to work um, to get my friend to help me because I'd never sent anything abroad before. Um, and honestly, if you could have seen us, at one point I had your letter in an envelope in a bigger envelope, in a padded envelope. And I was like, this is ridiculous. She's honestly gonna open this and think, what kind of Fruit Loop have, have I agreed to be a pen pal with? So we reduced it and I'm really sorry for the presentation, but hmm, you'll probably get that. Hopefully, hopefully in a week maybe. But yeah, complete tangent there. Um, so. I've actually had a couple of finished things. I've actually finished something. Um, I finished my Alohomora sign. Um, I'll put a photo in here because it was a gift for a friend. And again, it was something that I talked about and then an embarrassingly long amount of time went by before I finished it. So once I had it done, I couldn't wait to give it to her you know so here's a photo so you should have seen like 
uh, a glow in the dark one as well so all the the wording was glow in the dark and then oh getting those little hooks into that photo frame honestly I had all my fingers were raw from trying to I don't have that arm strength to push and twist it in I got it in the end so that's now hanging in her kitchen I think so put keys on it lovely um a couple of the other things that I finished technically they were already finished um but we've had to have the radiator replaced in what I like to refer to as my craft room it's actually more like I'm sure everybody has that one room where they just dump everything in it and like, oh, I'll sort that later. Oh, I'll find a place for that later. So it's kind of craft room slash computer room slash I have nowhere else to put this junk so it's going to live in here room. So anyway, to get the radiator replaced I had to clear the room out and I ended up finding a couple of things that I had finished years and years ago. So... Oh, I'm gonna get them framed so we washed them up um, and my little boy was very excited and he wants both of them in his bedroom absolute fine with me so we got them framed for him this is this one is something that I started when I was pregnant um, with the aim of giving to, to Jack when he was born anyway so, oh, oh. so these are his little baby booties and obviously I put in and that little wonky. No, I think I was holding it wonky. I put his birth, birthday and weight and stuff on there as well. But I'd, I'd literally done that so long ago. So finally got that one framed. Uh, and this one, I actually dated it. So I finished this in May two thousand and seven, and it was probably maybe the the second thing that I'd ever finished. It's Dory. And I just remember having just a lot of it is block colours. Yeah, there's no real um, like different tones used for blending. It's all just blocks of colour. And I remember when I was doing this thinking, oh, when will this end? Like, um, I mean, I don't particularly enjoy changing having to change colours constantly you know like confetti stitching but when it's big massive blocks it does it takes it out of you um the other thing that I've done this month so I've had a couple of things that I've done and finished that aren't really cross stitch but I'm gonna show you anyway so I've seen loads and loads of people talk about diamond painting um and for some reason it seems to get lumped into the cross stitching category um, so I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm, I'm going to give it a go and if I'm completely honest, as much as I really love so this isn't a full one, this is literally, it's just Dumbo that's got the, the diamond painting on it and as much as I really love the finished effect it's a, uh, it's not for me. It's not something that I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy another one, unless I saw something that I really, really liked. Um, for any of you that don't know, underneath all these shiny bits, uh, little plastic sort of, little sort of drill bits, I think they they're called. So underneath Dumbo is the. I think that's why it's, it's cross-stitching, so it, it looks like a pattern and you literally just, you stick the colours into the right squares, so it's kind of like, I think it's closer to painting by numbers, if I'm honest, than it is cross-stitching. It's fun, but, like I, it's hard to get comfortable sitting doing it, I felt like I was hunched over, my back was hurting, uh, and to be fair, it probably only really took me a few hours so oh it's it was all right it was okay but it's not something that i'm going to go out of my way to do and it's certainly not going to replace my stitching um there was something else where's that gone oh and then i had a little a little clouds factory finish so i think you can see i've got a twig tree Ooh. 
it was on sale and I've never been one for decorating seasonally but I see so many of you do it and I think oh that's such a nice idea it looks really pretty and I thought oh I'm gonna try that and then I saw somebody else <laughs> who had been stitching up the Disney Clouds Factory um, sets and making them into Christmas tree decorations. So I was like, oh, I could have like a little Disney tree. So yeah, for now, that's what I'm doing. But this is, oh, oh, I thought something hurt. So I finished off Belle. And I put her on a little, getting, I think it's like a, you know you can get like key charm things. Well, it's, it's one of those, but getting that, oops, that's the back. Messy. Getting that little metal hoop through that paper hole without ripping it. I mean, I deserve a medal for doing that. For doing it and not swearing at it. So she's done. She's the only, she's the only one. Um, nah. I started Snow White I was going to get to show you but I, it's over there, I'm not getting up it's tiny, it's not worth it so this is my other big whip that I'm really I'm really proud of but I'm also very desperate to finish now I put it on my Instagram this morning that I feel a little bit like it's almost like I've I've got right really close to finishing and then I've gone meh not bothered about it anymore. Which is really annoying because I was so excited about this. But this is my Nora Corbett Bluebell Fairy. And I just oh she's just absolutely perfect on that fabric. I absolutely love I mean, I love looking at her, and I know a lot of people tend to leave beading until the end, but I was too impatient, so I've been doing it as I go. But she's so pretty, and I've literally just got this sort of, this bit along here now, with just the bluebells in it to finish off. So, I was sitting here the other evening, and I said to my partner, I really want to start something new. And he said those words that I'm sure all of us are filled with rage when we hear why don't you finish something first so we made an agreement that if I finish three more things then I can start something new so I was like do you know what I'm going to take you up on that offer not because I feel like I should finish something before I start something new but more because I've got a few whips and it would be quite nice to get a couple of finishes in. So, I've challenged myself to finish this one this weekend. So it's Friday now, it's Friday evening. Um, I'm all alone because my little boy's in Spain. It's, uh, it's coming to the end of the Easter holidays and his nan and granddad emigrated to Spain. So he's been out there for a week, a week and a half. Absolutely loving it. He is, not me. I'm all on my own. Um, <laughs> but he's back tomorrow, late tomorrow. So Sunday's going to be a chill out day because it's back to school Monday. So I'm thinking, right, I've got all day tomorrow and I've probably got a good chunk of Sunday because we're not going to be doing anything. Um, so yeah, that's my plan to finish that this weekend. So what I'm going to do when I finish filming this, I'm not going to upload it straight away. I am going to uh, hopefully finish that and then do a quick video of that finished to tack on the end um, because I don't want to wait another month before I show you that finished. So that's my plan. Okay. Uh, what else did I work on? So I got a DMC Stitcher Photo Kit um, two years ago now. And I did a good chunk of it and then stopped. So what I've been trying to do is when my other half isn't about, um, finish or start working on it. So I did all of this bit up here is new, but I don't tend to get a lot of time to work on it because, I mean, he's here a lot. So uh, 
yeah that's the plan to just even if I just do a little bit at a time um but I don't want him to see because I'd quite like for him to be like oh you finished it I didn't know you were working on that otherwise if he knows I'm working on it it's oh you're doing that you're not doing the one for me <laughs> that was a bang on impression as well by the way spot on and then the last thing that I've been working on this month is um, the temperature flower garden, which is um, a yearly flower. So each petal on each flower represents the day of the year and each one's a different colour for the temperature. of. So what I did was I started in the middle of May and I'm doing it for the whole year. So it's the first full year of my nephew's lives so it's a temperature cell for their first year of their life does that make sense i don't know do you know what i've been at work all week i've come home i'm on my own and i am just my brain has just gone <laughs> so i'm really sorry i'm i'm well i'm not with it anyway what one did i finish i finished august <laughs> oh my god so I've finished August. So that's what it looks like. That's where I'm up to. And I started on September. Now bearing in mind, they're having their birthday party um, on the 5th of May. So this ain't going to be finished, but I don't know. <laughs> but my sister knows what I'm like. The twins aren't going to know any different. They're not going to look at this in years to come and go, oh yeah, it's lovely, but you didn't have it finished on time, did you? They're never going to know. So yes, that is the plan. <sighs> if I sat down and really dedicated some time to it, I'd whiz through it because it's you, I'm just stitching little flowers. But it's it feels quite repetitive. So I do tend to sort of lose my motivation with it. Oh, sorry, I just keep the table. Um, so the rest of the stuff that I've got is just new things. Uh, for any of you that watched my last video, you'll know that I ordered a book and then had the lucky dip of, oh, am I going to get the book I ordered or am I going to get extreme weight loss or, no, it wasn't weight loss, weightlifting, Com competitive weightlifting. Yeah, because I look like the kind of person that competitively weightlifts. The book arrived and it was the one I wanted. Yay! I was so happy because I found the company and I said, look, you've listed the carousel cross stitch book, but my invoice says this other one, what book am I getting? And they didn't have a Scooby. They were like, well, if it's the wrong one, then we'll just refund you. I'm like, that's not the answer I wanted. I don't want a refund. I want the book I ordered. So, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and flip through it. But I will show you some of my uh, my favourite ones. So they've got a different one for each month. So this is the Christmas one. Which is just so cute. Oh, I love it. So eventually we'll get round to that one. Um, and then there was another... I mean, to be completely honest, there isn't one in here that I looked at and thought, oh, I don't like that very much. Like I liked all of them. I liked all of them an awful lot. And now I can't find, um, bear with me. <laughs> I can hear you all in my, in my head clicking the unsubscribe button as I'm speaking. You know, what is this woman on about? Which one was it? I think it was this one. I think it was that one. But they were all, all of them are so pretty. So, one day I might get round to, I mean, even if I do one out of that book, I'll be happy. Oh, I'm a nightmare. I'm putting myself on a ban from buying for a little while, I think. Um, these two Peter Rabbit kits I bought with my birthday money. And I'm not really sure if I showed them in my last video. If I did, I'm really sorry, but you're going to see them again. So this was the first one, and it says, Good Little Bunnies. 
So that made me think of my sister's three boys. So the twins and David, who's now three. So I sent a picture of it to her and I was like, oh, look at this. I said, doesn't it make you think of your little boys? And she went, oh, yeah. I said, I'm going to make it. But you're not having it. No. I've had, I've had enough of stitching gifts. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. And then this one I got because it just made me think of me and my little boy. Oh. They're so cute. And they're really nice. I got these for anyone in the UK out of Hobbycraft. Uh, they weren't that expensive and they come with with everything so you get the hoop the threads a nice sticker that tells you that they've got the codes wrong lovely um this i got for i got to go in my alohomora stuff um as some of the sparkly stuff coming out of the wand but it didn't arrive in time it randomly arrived today and if I'm completely honest I forgot I ordered it but yeah I will find something something for that to go in um and then the last couple of bits I've got were oh, I think it was cross stitch crazy it was a website that was having like a closing down sale so everything was like crazy crazy pants reduced so this is Angel of Grace, which I got, because I really liked that one. I just like the angels, and I'm starting, I'm, uh, I'm going to restart that one for my mum. So I thought, oh, if I do this one, I can keep it. I'm all about the selfie stitching right now. And then this one. So I've seen loads of people who are like, really into Michael Powell stuff at the moment, and... I think yeah this stuff's really nice but you know when you just when I'm looking when I'm looking to buy something it's not something that oh, I can get them but there was no sort of real you know you get that desperate need like I have to have it and I have to have it now I never really felt like that but when I saw this kit on this cross stitch crazy site um and it was reduced down to something silly like it's a full kit it's got the uh, it's got even weaving it and everything so this secret garden one and I thought oh it's so pretty low power now like it's all going on so yeah I will eventually start that my only concern is that it's on 27 count even weave I didn't think 27 count was a thing I thought it was 28 count 25 I've never heard of 27 count like it doesn't make a difference as long as it fits on the fabric it doesn't bother me in the slightest but I thought that was a bit odd <sighs> so uh, that is everything I wanted to show you hopefully I'm gonna go absolutely crazy on that Nora Corbett bluebell fairy um, whip and get that finished in the next two days if so you'll be seeing another little video on the end of this um if not then were you really that surprised <laughs> so yeah that's it i am done and i will speak to you soon bye okay hi everyone it is sunday afternoon it is 25 past two jack is home from his holiday Okay, and we finished the fairy. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da da fairy. What do you think, Jack? Good. Just good. Very good. Very very good. Because there's all spots on her head. That's all the beads. Oh, that's beads anyway. I absolutely. Love, love this one. Do you like this one? Yeah. I wish it was a boy one, but I like girl ones best. Do you? Mm hmm I like boys and girl fairies. Even the tooth fairy. The tooth fairy is the best kind of fairy. Yeah. She gives you one. She gives you one stuff. Well, you haven't lost any teeth yet, have you? No. So, all of her wings are all done in... Grinic, 
Chronic. <laughs> Chronic. That took ages. That's all the sparkly thread, Jack. Oh, yeah. Shall we show them our faces? No. Nah. Why? Because your face is covered in chocolate. Oops. Mm. And yours? No. Okay, show me <laughs> your face. And that's it. She's done. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.